Hello everybody! Let's see today how to run multiple instances of Microsoft Teams. But why to do that? Imagine that you are a consultant and you need to work day by day with several companies because you are leading several projects. This could be a typical use case. So then let's see how to do that together. Here I am on my PC and here I have Teams open it. As you can see here, I can switch account, but in order to do that, I have to sign out and then again sign in. The same thing for the tenant. If I want to switch from a tenant to another, this takes some time. It's not very comfortable, this user experience. Microsoft, I think it's working to improve this aspect of Microsoft Teams, but for the moment, we have a gap to fill. Now I would like to show you my solution to work productively on Microsoft Teams. The first approach is based on uh, Microsoft Edge. I'm not talking of the old Microsoft Edge, but the new one. You can download this browser from this URL, or you can just go on Google and search for Microsoft Edge you will land exactly on the same page that uh, I showed before. From here, you have just to download and select the stable version or if you want to, to use the dev version, that's it. Once you have installed Edge, you can start to work with profile. Edge has this new functionality because it's based on Chromium is the same engine which is used by Google Chrome. This, as I said, allow you to create a new profile. So we have several profile here. Now I want to add a new file. I'll show you normally how to work with Microsoft Teams in Edge. I have created now a new profile, profile one. I want to rename it because I don't like to have profile one. I have just to edit this and uh, I want to add here the account and then I want to add the tenant, in this case Avalon. So I want to use this profile to access on Microsoft Teams with my Gmail account on the Avalon tenant. Let me choose also a feature pizza, so I am Italian, pizza for me it's something that not miss. So then um, I can now jump in the teams.microsoft.com to make login and microsoft.com so I can just now type my Gmail account to get access in Microsoft Teams. No thanks. And then my password. I am in now in uh, Microsoft Teams with my Gmail account. So what I would like to do now, as I said, I want to access to the tenant Avalon. I am a guest in this tenant because I collaborate with this company. Once I am in, what I can do here, I can do magic and click on the three dots and I can take advantage by uh, capability of Microsoft Edge under apps, in the menu, you can click on install this site as an app. And here again, I want to have a name which is clear for me. So this allow me to figure out that by opening this app, I will access immediately to Microsoft Teams with my account Gmail to the tenant Avalon. Okay, install. Now, as you can see here, we have a new window and this has a, the aspect of a Windows app. In fact, if I open here the um, Windows, 
menu, we can see that we have this app installed, Gmail Avalon. I can also be into the, to the start bar here in Windows, and then I can open it again. So if I close now this app, I can immediately open again this app, and I am already in. It's very, very easy to work in this way, Teams. Here I have my Teams client hub, and here I have the just installed app, my Gmail account on the tenant hub alone. Now I want to create another profile because I need to stay connected with another company in parallel. So then I have to create another profile on Edge. In this case, I will change the name of this profile with my Outlook account. Then the tenant, which is in this case Microsoft. Let me select this fancy dog picture. And then I have to go on Teams again, Microsoft account. In order to perform the login with my Outlook account, finally the password. I have to send a notification here because I have the multi factor authentication enabled for, for that. And going to approve this login. Now, and log it in. And I can select the, the tenant. As I said, I will select Microsoft. Continue. I am a guest on this tenant. And here I will do exactly the same thing that I made before. Under apps, I will install this site on app. So here I have to provide a name that and help me to figure out immediately which kind of instance of Teams I am going to open, install. And I have here another instance of Teams. So I'm working now with three instances, and I have three different accounts and tenant. So this is Pretty, pretty cool. I can work in parallel with three company theoretically, but we can create more profiles, of course. Now I would like to show you another another thing. This app are here installed. I can pin again this app on the start bar. But what's happened if I want to uninstall this because I don't need any more to work with this company, for example. So I can uninstall and then I, I have the same, the same user experience for a Windows apps application. So I have to select, in this case, the instance of the, the app that I, want to, that I want to remove, uninstall, remove, and this, this application is gone. This is the way how you can uninstall the application that you installed across Edge. Okay, so now I would like to show you a second approach, which is powerful as well. And this is based on Firefox. Before to start with Firefox, there is a step required. You need to install this add-ons called Firefox multi-account containers. Basically, every new tab, it will, will open it in a new container. So you can work with several tabs and several accounts and in the same instance of the browser. So I'll show you in practice how you can do that. Of course, I already installed this plugin on my Firefox. And this is the, the extension. You, you need to click um, you need to click here. I don't want to um, now I don't want to synchronize this account. Not now. So I have here 
several possibility. I can edit existing containers or I can create new one. I will create a new container now. And this will be my Gmail account connected to the Avalon tenant. I can select also an icon, color, by clicking OK, I created now this new container. If I click on this container, a new tab will be opened. So now let me jump in teams.microsoft.com. Again, I will make the login here. Password, and now I am, I am in. As you can see, I can work now here on uh, Firefox in this tab clicking this tenant. Now I need to open another another uh, tab because I want to work with another company. So I will click again on this icon, this plus button, and I will use now another account and I will connect with Microsoft to pick up orange and I want to have a different icon. Okay, I created a new container. I will open this container. A new tab will be opened. Teams.microsoft.com Let me go in this other account that I have. This is my personal Office 365 tenant which is called now Microsoft 365 password I am in I can click yes so now I am in I have just to confirm the access and I want to switch on this Microsoft tenant so here I have to um, make the multi-factor authentication again. I don't want to do that now, but I am basically on another instance of Teams. I'm working another instance of this application. Don't want to switch now. I am now on my personal uh, tenant on Microsoft 365. And here I am connected with my Gmail account in the tenant Avalon. And here I have my client application of Teams. So this is, I would say, it's pretty, pretty cool. It's up to you how you prefer to work. Firefox, it gives you the ability to switch uh, just from a tab and another. And with Edge, you have a more, let's say, client Teams application user experience with several windows. Third and last option is to use Google Chrome. But unfortunately, it seems like the Microsoft Teams is not available as progressive web app, at least not yet for me. In fact, I don't have the classic plus button to install a, a new progressive web app, like for example, on Twitter, where I have here this button I can click and install Twitter as a PWA. Seems like Microsoft is in the phase to rolling out Teams as a progressive web app. So in the future it will be possible to work also with Google Chrome in profiles like, like we have seen before with Microsoft Edge. All right, wrap up this video. I hope you enjoy it. If yes, give a like and uh, subscribe to my channel to stay updated with the next video. I follow every comment, so feel free to, to leave feedback and idea or proposal for next video. I hope to see you soon. Bye.